Greetings family, it's Empress D obviously in nature and my favorite environment. Of course, there's the water. I gotta give you guys a glimpse of it. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's getting out in nature. I hope everybody's figured it out. You know, that that is the one thing that you can do to catapult yourself in terms of getting to know yourself and elevating and um, vibrating high, right? Because I think that is the only goal right now, is to maintain an elevated vibration. Make sure that you're vibrating high family. And so kind of that's what I wanted to talk about a bit today. Um, vibrating high. I refuse to vibrate low for an extended period of time. I refuse so in order to do that I'm very selective about um, my environment right if I like as you can see I'm selective in terms of picking an environment that's going to help me vibrate high I make sure that I immerse myself in this environment every day right and likewise if I'm in an environment that if I'm in an environment that is making me feel uneasy or low or frustrated or upset, I immediately remove myself from that environment, right? And that's how I'm able to maintain my rate, vibration high for the majority of the time, right? And in doing that family, and I don't know what the relationship is, probably a converse relationship in that as I am vibrating high, I'm also creating my reality. I want to share, like, I, I, I think I share bits and pieces with you, family. Um, but I think I want to share my journey. In an effort so that maybe you, s people hearing what I what my journey looked like it can help to make the concepts that I'm speaking about more tangible I'm hoping the whole purpose of me sharing on this platform is to uh, I'm hoping that more people can be where I am and do what I did because it's amazing right I'm trying to just like we can all do it and that's what I'm here for I think I'm here to share that's what I'm on this channel for I'm here to share my experience because my experience is a real-life experiment on how applying these principles will affect my life so I consciously made the choice to make certain dis changes But I didn't do it to say, okay, it's an experiment. No, I just said, you know what? I want to improve. And so I made these changes in an effort to improve myself and my life. And every time I made and these, and, and when I made these changes, my life just keep, kept getting better and better. The first thing that I changed was my diet. That happened in December of 2017. My oldest daughter was, has become what became a vegetarian and she encouraged me to take in a documentary on Netflix called What the Health. All three of us, my two youngest and I, they were 11 and 15 at the time. We watched the documentary and from that day forward, we haven't consumed meat. There's one exception. My, I, just to be transparent, my youngest it was on. A, she had a field trip in January, and I think she had a chicken burger. So we we became just vegetarian December 2017, and it was before the holidays. So we went through the whole holiday dinner, and we did not touch any meat. But I think on this field trip, she ended up having 
a chicken burger. But beyond that, so from January 2018 onwards, we have not had meat. And I can honestly say that once that change was made, my life kept improving. Once I was able to implement that change, I wanted to implement other changes, okay? And so fast forward to 2020, this whole thing is going on, okay? I saw a few videos that exposed the whole thing, the whole system that we're living under right now and the hierarchy of it and who actually is in charge. I saw a few different documentaries and videos that, that explored all of that and I was just so hungry to learn more. I came across Ralph Smart. Ralph Smart, most of you probably know him, he's wonderful. He is my online mentor. Every, it's like everything he says resonates with me. It's not that he's telling me, uh, he's saying what he's saying and I'm like, oh my gosh, how are you thinking the same thing I'm thinking? He's a master teacher. He, he explains the information to the public in a beautiful way. I encourage everybody to take him in. He is always in nature. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this thing. I'm gonna try what this guy said. So it was October of 2020 that I started to go out to nature regularly on a daily basis. So we're coming up on two years of doing this nature thing daily, okay? Changed my life, okay? So my diet changed my life, improved my life even more, okay? I started to find that the connection, that connection to that higher self, that it's, it's so strong and it's clear. And so what I decided to do, um, I think it was sometime, in, it was in 2020 actually, was to just do what that inner voice tells me and not what my brain tells me, okay? Or what my heart tells me. I don't even listen to my heart. I listen to the inner voice. That inner voice has manifested my reality, okay? Following that inner voice has manifested my reality. Um, I started to incorporate daily meditation. I started that in June of 2020. This is two years of daily meditation, family. I'm over two years of daily meditation, family. And in the process, all of these things in conjunction have strengthened that connection to my higher self. I only make de decisions based on what my higher self tells me, not what my mind and my wants want. I, it's, not, it's not even about what I want anymore. I just want what the universe wants for me because the universe knows best, knows, can, right? Like who, uh, the uni I trust the universe, the universe knows best. And therefore I don't do what I want. I do what the universe wants. And so that's how I have manifested my reality. Let me explain my reality. My days are filled with doing things that are important to me. Spending time with people that are important to me. Learning, studying, meditating, exercising, preparing meals. Like things that are serving me. My days are filled with only things that serve me. I have eliminated everything 
that doesn't serve me. And therefore, I have manifested the reality that I want, right? I only want things that serve me, around me. And so as a result, I'm happy. And it's such an amazing place to be and everybody could be there. And that's why I'm here sharing. This is what I did, family. I just said, you know what, let me just try this. And I did it and I'm like, holy. I said, okay, let me just try this. So I did it like just trial and error. I didn't have somebody telling me this. I just, I did it trial and error. And I, I find that those, those changes and each time I made different changes, it, my things just continued to improve, right? So family, that's what's up. I just wanted to share. I wanted to share what my journey looked like, right? And I think this is the road to manifestation. The, the road to manifestation is just doing things that are going to help you connect with your higher self. Meditation, okay? Spending time in nature. Those are the two. Diet, I think that's the first thing that has to be cleaned up. I don't think that we should be eating any living things, right? And the rationale behind it is everything is energy family and i don't i will get into it everything is energy right and so remember tesla said it right nikola tesla said if you want to understand the secrets of the universe you have to think in terms of frequency energy and vibration right family so the vibration of a mango is going to be different than the vibration of a steak whose life consisted of being born in a little area with all kinds of other animals, fed all kinds of garbage and given steroids to grow quickly. You know, you're in this environment. It's not obviously a natural environment for that animal, right? And then you, 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 you're you going to slaughter. You see the, 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 the cow in front of you getting slaughtered. You know you're next. They're fearful. You're scared and you die. Then that meat is, is cooked and seasoned up beautifully and put on your plate. What happens to that energy? What happens to that energy of fear? Of anxiety? Of, 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 of your impending death? What happens to the cellular memory of all the filth you were raised in and, and the unnatural conditions? Listen, man, I'm not here to whatever, but I'm just explaining to you the rationale as to why it makes a difference, right? Energy, everything is energy, frequency and vibration, right? And so, as I said, the vibration of a mango is going to be higher than the vibration of a steak based on the principles we just kind of discussed right that mango has had nothing but sun and water baby those are the two life forces that you know the planet we could not exist without right anyway family that's my spiel that's how i've manifested my reality now don't get me wrong things aren't perfect there are still challenges right I still um, face uncertainties and fears at times, but I, but I know how to manage it. And I know that this is temporary because the universe will provide and the universe has my greater good in mind. So whatever discomfort I'm going through is a lesson. There's something to derive and learn and grow from, right? And then I continue on my journey. But I would not want to be any other place than where I am right now in terms of in terms of my journey and so i just want to pass on the information in hopes that more people can join during the journey okay family thank you for taking the time to listen to this oh shoot long message really thank you um i love and i value each and every one of you one love